Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Ryan Benegi, and I'm bringing you another PlayStation Vita tutorial, or a semi-slash-PSP tutorial. This tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use touchscreen controls to control PSP games, old PSP games that you have on your Vita. Sony just updated the PS Vita to firmware 1.80, and it came with a bunch of new features like controlling the, uh, you know, the live area home screen with the D-pad and updated web browser and stuff like that. But one feature they added that they didn't really tell anybody is that they added touchscreen control button mapping for old PSP games. So right now I'm playing Little Big Planet PS uh, for PSP. You know, this is an old game. This is for PSP. It's play being played on a PS Vita. But now we can control Sackboy or any other PSP game with touchscreen control. So if you remember my PS Vita tips and tricks video, uh, tap the screen anywhere and hold it, and you're going to get extra options. You know, this you know the bilinear fill thing, mapping the right stick to certain buttons. All these options are here. But they added a sign touchscreen, and we're going to click that. And basically, they're going to give you four options here, four different gestures, but actually all the gestures are the same. It's more so location-based. So um, let's say we want to make Sackboy jump with a, you know, a swipe instead of, you know, let's say I don't want to use the X button to make him jump anymore. So I'm going to hit this one right here, and I'm going to assign the button X to that because that's what makes Sackboy jump. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to exit out of that because we want to make him jump. And I just swipe like that, and he jumps. Look at that. Now we're controlling a uh, old PSP game with new touchscreen gestures. Unfortunately, though, you can't tap or anything like that. It has to be a swipe out like this, or if you were to do it in the you know the top screen, you'd have to swipe out like this. But it has to be a swipe out because if you you know tap it, hold it, you know that's that's to bring this menu up. So you can't tap. It has to be this swipe. But nonetheless, I mean it, it's there and it works. I'm not necessarily sure how practical it is, but maybe it comes in useful for some games. I know that uh, I've found some great uses out of it for one game called uh, Beats. If you remember any of that, if you guys uh, remember that game, it was a $5 uh, PSP game, and it was actually really fun. It read uh, the songs off of your Memory Stick Pro Duo, and uh, you know you could play like a kind of like a rock band style game, but you know maybe a uh, audio surf kind of game where you're just you know hitting buttons and stuff like that. But I found that it was pretty uh, interesting to play with the touchscreen controls in that game. You know, it's kind of assigning all the uh, X, square, circle, and triangle buttons on that game. And then trying to play like that. It was really interesting. It was a little difficult on Extremo where you had to use the D-pad. But nonetheless, it was interesting. Like, that's maybe a cool use for it. And I'm sure there's other cool uses for it as well. I don't own all the PSP games in the world. Maybe someone else does, and maybe they can find better uses for it. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoy this tutorial, because now you know how to control PSP games with the touchscreen in certain, you know, in certain ways. You know, you only get four buttons to choose from and it has to be a certain swipe but nonetheless it's cool that uh sony added like you know new tech to old games you know these games didn't require a firmware patch or anything like that nothing special but thank you for watching nonetheless guys hope you learned something and peace out